Alright, uh, so it's a slight change in time. I was meant to be uh, 30 Yeah, uh, it was meant to be 30 minutes in total, but unfortunately he's now filled at the moment, so best of wishes to Freddy, but uh, he's not here to pop in and uh, have So I kind of got dropped in. Uh, Sorry, that was a shot my Try talking again and you should not hear yourself. Hello? No. Not bad? No. Oh. Uh, is, it, is it working on the screen? No. Uh, uh, just keep going and we'll work on it. I'm going to go in after that. We've got the guys putting us out. We've got guys around the corner. Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you for coming here to talk. Unfortunately, some great decisions have to be dropped in and, uh, and do the rest of this talk. So, Part of this room is for me, part of it isn't. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> is it working? Sweet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So, yeah, uh, but yeah, I'm going to come down and do this talk on his behalf. So, uh, I'm going to have to change it up a little bit. I, my main experience is the northeast of England. So, I will, let's say, Sense of Beauty community in Scotland and the North East. I'll expand it a little bit, just make it a little bit easier. But they are very kind of similar communities, similar size. Scotland's just a little bit further ahead of us, a few, a few years ahead of us, to be honest. Uh, so, what am I here to talk to you about? Well, Betty give me this three things I wish I'd known 20 years ago. Where? This bit? No. Uh, oh, I'm there. Uh, three things I wish I'd known 20 years ago. Uh, I can't quite say 20 years ago, I can get close to that, uh, but not quite. Uh, so I've got Betty's two answers, and I'm going to uh, kind, of, kind of throw a bit of my uh, random making up as I'm making up as I'm going along and war stories and whatnot. Uh, so, the question, what three things do I wish I'd done 20 years ago? Well, I'll start off with a little bit about QC. So, about 20 years ago, Betty was talking to his brothers and saying, well, look, this cyber security is something. I want to do something with it. At that time, his brothers were, nah, it didn't, there's nothing there. It doesn't exist. At that point, it didn't. Uh, Realising that there are things that change, uh, from that, he's, he's now running Corn Cyber. So one of the, well, one of the fastest growing companies in the UK. Woo! Uh, I know, personally, we have, what, triple, quadrupled in size in the last month, and pushed this Cool. Uh, so it's how did he get there from that? There's a few things that if he'd known a bit further ago, he would have uh, <coughs> would maybe done it a bit quicker. So what, what did he learn across there? So you're always guaranteed to be successful in cybersecurity. It's <laughs> it's pretty much an industry that everyone's begging for. If you've got the push, if you've got the drive, if you'll do the little bit more digging if you'll be the kind of person that oh, I'll spend a little bit of time looking at uh, CTX or I'll spend a little bit of time looking and researching into Sentinel deployments or role play or whatever. If you spend that time to a bit more digging, if you're not that kind of person that if you see a challenge, you want to get in. If you see a locked door, you want to open it just because of it, then you will be successful in cybersecurity. It's just down to yourself. It's a massive industry and it's growing exponentially. Everyone needs cyber. Uh, what, what else have you got down? Uh, oh, 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 nice one. One thing that he wish he'd known. The overwhelming pressure. Cybersecurity is one hell of a high pressure job. A lot of people think, oh yeah, yeah fucking around with computers, sorry, I should swear. Mucking around with computers, uh, you're, you're, just, you're just another part of IT. But no, we, when you're sitting in those meetings where you're like, right, this is, potentially a great situation. This is where we're trying to work out what our incident response are going. You've got the whole uh, war room run up and you see the faces of the people you're working with, the people that you're trying to resolve the issues for. They are scared. Uh, and you have to be there. You have to be the one who is not. We've seen this before. We've done this before. We know how to do it. We can bring our experience, bring all of the things that we've learned and we can make your life a little bit easier. And for me, that's that's kind of the big pull for cybersecurity. Making people's lives a little bit easier. Sorry, I know I'm getting off track from Betty's one. But uh, that, that's kind of what I, what I like about the cybersecurity industry. And especially in Scotland, if companies work together, if companies share intelligence, if companies aren't the kind of companies which dig inside all things, which are the kind of companies that want to open up and want to help everyone as a whole, 
you can. Everyone can actually make a difference in cybersecurity. If I was to just to pick up something else in another company, I wouldn't think, oh, they've stole my IP, they're working on that. No, cybersecurity is one of the few industries where people are like, great, let's share, let's get better together. Let's all kind of add to it and enhance everything together. So yeah, I'm not kind of smushing what, <laughs> what, what Fetty's talking, what Fetty's kind of points were, but there's one other thing that's kind of the major point about cybersecurity. And it's a, it's a thing where I think you, the, the industry is kind of a bit unique. Uh, you don't, it's, it's, it's that, that community side. A lot of other industries, you don't find people going out of their way to run conferences, to, to put on community events, to document what they find, to write a blog that tells you how this cool little RCE works, or even if it's simple stuff like going over what other people have done and, and interpreting things in different ways. You really have the breadth of community. I mean, there's a glorious amount of slides in this presentation. Community people such as the above. Uh, there's, it's, we don't care about what company you're from. We don't care about what, uh, what the background is, where, wherever you're from. We care about what you bring to the community, what you want to show, what you want to give, what you want to kind of contribute towards making everyone's lives better. Because if we are that annoying data silo, what, what kind of IT infrastructure was 20 years ago, what IT was, where everyone knew their own thing, you didn't tell anyone, then you end up in the same problem that we're in today where people haven't been sharing, people haven't been having problems. We have the intersection between really, if IT and that side of things have been planned and structured in the right way, you shouldn't have InfoSec. We only exist because there's bugs, there's issues, there's worries with things, and people like to prod. It, it, it's, we only exist because of the innate human nature of curiosity. Uh, and the fact that things well, sometimes aren't skewed the right. But yeah, uh, so, sorry, I'm getting very ranty on this, I believe. But yeah, the, the main point that, uh, that I kind of wanted to make for, for the keynote is, yeah, it's, it's all about the community. If you're having difficulties, if you're having issues working on something, or if you just, you want to know what the soft life is, or you're looking for a job, reach out to any of the people up there, any of the people here, any of the people involved in uh, things like uh, NSEC, uh, the uh, the side of that, there's loads of things like that, there's loads of the community, there's the beer farms, there's some huge community resources out there. Get in there, use them. Uh, they are there, they're putting their time so everyone can learn, so everyone can get involved. And people put talks in for stuff like that. It's just, uh, it's great to see. And that's that's kind of the unique, but the, well, not the unique, but the, the fairly unique thing about uh, about cybersecurity, you get that. You get the, the community, you get the life, you get, yeah, you get the support. And if you don't get the support, and if you don't know where to go, reach out to me, reach out to any of the communities that I've said, and you'll find that there's hundreds of people who are stressing about they're having to do the right work or stressing about this one, about the other one, but, and there are people who will sit down and go, yeah, yeah, you run through with you, spend a bit of time, we'll work it out. And that's, that's unique, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I know I'm, I've got no idea how long this was meant to last for. I've probably only been talking for like three minutes because that's all it feels like in my head. Uh, but yeah, I'll kind of keep it, to, keep it quite short, keep it quite sweet. I know we'll have a few issues early on. But yeah, that, that's kind of the, the main thing, the community side. If there's any, uh, yeah. Yeah, if, if there's ever any, uh, any, Sorry, as I said, I'm living a lot of this. So, but yeah, uh, yeah. How, how about we wrap up on that? The, uh, the community is the lifeblood of InfoSec. Without people like you, people like any of the people in here, people like any of the people there, and a lot of the community resources out there, there wouldn't be anything. Use them, be part of them, do a contribute towards them, make content, make everyone else better. That's the key in InfoSec. That's the key in how we fix the horrendous shitstorm we're going through. So to say again, uh, we're going through today with all of the vulnerabilities again and again. There isn't one people, there isn't a P1, there isn't a server, there isn't a critical, there isn't something going on. And the only way to cope with that is to build that community, is to keep that community together, and is to for every 
wanted was to reach out and work towards the common goal of making everyone else more secure. Uh, yeah, that's it. That, that, that's that's it. Uh, damn it, I don't see too many from the other two pages. Let's just keep talking. Let's just keep talking. <laughs> 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 well, thank you. Uh, I realised I kind of dived in that. I didn't really see who I was and all that. So, hey, intro at the end. I was Ben Doherty. Still am. Uh, <laughs> I think it's yeah. uh, I'm the engineering team lead for the program.